welcome to St. Matthew San Mateo Episcopal Church and the Jubilee Center that is housed here. I am the Reverend Susan Armour. I am the vicar of this place, this wonderful combination of Anglo and Spanish speaking people. People from the diocese are going to be here this morning to learn to make tamales. Tamales are an important part of the fundraising efforts of this community. It was a very enlightening morning. We learned about the plight of the indigenous Americans who come up here from Mexico, who need our support desperately. Oh yes, we made some tamales, but what a wonderful, wonderful um, methodology of preparing food and getting it ready. These tamales will be frozen and then sold at Christmas time because you know, you just can't have Christmas without tamales. Tamales! ECA is wonderful. ECA has given grants for many of the years that we have been a ministry. I'm Kitty Ash from All Saints Vancouver and I'm the director of Babies in Need. Today we're writing notes of encouragement to the moms. We're assembling a newsletter. We are also creating some of the booklets. We have one to uh, the mother of a new baby and another to a man and a new baby. We've been working in the diocese for about 15 years, taking care of babies in Clark County. We provide hope and encouragement. Through Babies in Need, she knows there are people behind her. So it's wonderful to have the support from ECA. This is Cairo's Prison Ministry and we work with men and women who are incarcerated. We're sending them unconditional love in the form of letters and posters, telling them that we on the outside are praying for them, that we care for them, and that God's people are supporting them. I'm here to write encouraging notes to men or women who are going through the Kairos program in prison. I believe that it gives the people who are in prison a uh, feeling that people care, that the world out there has not forgotten them. They're special to God, uh, and uh, God loves them and accepts them. And hopefully through that they have a sense that God knows that they're there and God loves them. They can be nourished and feel the love of Jesus Christ. Uh, they brighten, they blossom, somebody believes in them, somebody actually reaches out and listens to them, pays attention to them, and values them as a human being. It just makes all the difference in the world. Welcome to the Day! I'm Ken Hawkins. I'm the Executive Director of the Mission to Seafarers. Here today, we're at the convention um, having a small-scale exercise of packing ditty bags. We hand out these um, wonderful gifts in the form of ditty bags, which are um, a, a handmade bag about the size of a big shoe bag filled with toiletries, toothpaste, for example, and, and uh, soap, a razor, shave cream, deodorant, shampoo, and a hand-knitted stocking cap. And we give them out to each seafarer who comes to the port from now until early March. What a great sense of community. Chaplains on the Harbor, a ministry that works alongside people who are poor and homeless in Grace Harbor County. Well, we've just been so grateful to have the support of ECA um, as we start this ministry. We do street outreach, we build relationships with people, we do Bible study and celebrate Eucharist together. What I did today is just bring our group together to replicate a little bit of what we do. Today we did a Bible study together, doing our best to look through the eyes of the poor and to um, relate to that in our own communities around the diocese. It lays on my heart that there are people in my community hanging out. We also had a craft project. Right now we're doing an art project to help craft a message that will be 
provocative. We're taking icons and turning the saints into homeless people by giving them signs that a homeless person might hold them. We're hoping that we'll turn them into tracks. So we'll have the icon with the quote, and then on the back, put on verses that talk about justice for the poor. It's an invitation to get real and to take some active steps. This is a really fun group of people to work with, folks from all over the diocese. Yeah, that was really fun. I think that any way that we can be actively involved in serving those who need to be helped, that's what we should be doing, and ECA certainly has that as a charter and a mission. Today we are packing red beans for distribution to food banks throughout Washington State. We are uh, taking a family size amount of, of uh, red beans and wrapping them up in a certain way so that they will pack nicely into the shipping boxes. We were able to do something for the greater part of the state, knowing that it's going to the families that can't otherwise go to the store and buy beans. And I feel that we're being the hands and feet of Christ in the world, and that our hands are directly linked to these beans that are going to be going to families for, uh, for their meal. The best part is service. It seems like a small thing to do, but in the end it's feeding um, hungry people in this state. It's a great honor to be of service and to actually practice what we try to get our parishioners to do every week. I feel like we're actually like, making an impact. It's always fun to help people. Bishop Greg Rickle and I want to thank everyone that participated in the convention outreach experiences for ECA, Episcopal Community Action, for everyone that made it possible and for the people who took the risk to go and to see. Thank you all.